Hi, this is Ronnie Rudell, and I'm presenting a case study on Chris Crosby, an entrepreneur in Denver, Colorado. Chris is an entrepreneur focused on real estate development, and he's currently working at the Nichols Partnership. He previously worked in Atlanta. Uh, he's a sustainability expert. He sees opportunities in innovative, sustainable communities and mixed-use projects. Um, this is exemplified by the Spire Condominium Project in downtown Denver, which is a 493-unit, 42-story project. It's designed for urban, walkable lifestyle, LEED certified, outstanding amenities, and it won multiple awards. Chris, um, Chris has very, very unique skill sets that help him be a fantastic entrepreneur. And he saw way back when that there was a need for an uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem and a, he created a location, creative placemaking, from his building on a 14th Street district, which wasn't a, um, wasn't a creative district at that point, but he saw the vision and knew what the city could do, and he's on all of the board of directors. So in order to achieve his vision with the Spire project, he had many, many obstacles to overcome. Um, he, had a, he had the hypo real estate as the project lender, but they pulled out. He contacted 150 different lenders and he finally reached an agreement um, and he had all kinds of different issues with capital but finally with perseverance he was able to take that project into existence and build the building and he sold 201 units in the first eight months for 60 million dollars you know a true true values of a pa of an entrepreneur is passion and self-belief and he was sure that his pro that his product at the spire was something that need was needed in the marketplace it was honestly one of the first condo buildings in Denver, Colorado, and he understood the future of the city um, as a developer. And he therefore had the opportunity at that point to convert units to corporate apartments, but he didn't want that easy money because he held his vision that owners would enjoy a sustainable and comfortable lifestyle in downtown Denver. So he wasn't motivated by achieving his vision with just money alone. And he was actually right about this because the 14th Street District the next year, well, by 2010, received $20 million in funding from the city. They started with building lampposts. They started by hiring a social media agency, which happened to be me, um, and a digital marketing team, which was me and my team, to help them get the word out there on the street and really create them as part of the ecosystem around them, partnering them with all of the entrepreneurs there, the different chefs, um, all kinds of cross promotions online and offline and events and this is what I think is characteristic of a true true entrepreneur he's very very innovative um, he's introduced many innovations to achieve his vision of sustainable urban living um, grocery and dry cleaning delivery room in the building he has an indoor dog park for pet owners which is very rare inside of a high-rise hotel suites in the building for residents guests he has cars available through agreement with connect by Hertz he also has electric car charging stations. He also has B-Cycle there, which is Denver's bicycle sharing program. He was one of the first buildings to get a station in front of his building. And he also has ride sharing at his building. Um, he was an ecosystem developer. He not only built a successful venture for his own firm, but created an ecosystem where other entrepreneurs could develop their businesses, including a coffee shop, restaurant, cleaners, exercise area for individual personal trainers to come in and hold classes, transportation services, cleaning services, to make this a, an invaluable ecosystem in the community and also a standing off unit. He's a rule breaker. So entrepreneurs such as Crosby are not afraid to defy conventional wisdom. The Spire project was constructed during a recession and declining house, price, house prices. Uh, but the Spire maintained its high-end design and did not cut corners to reduce prices and they successfully sold its units without discounting the presses. The conclusion is that Crosby determines many characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. Vision, perseverance, passion, and self-belief, innovative, ecosystem developer, and a rule breaker. And that's the slideshow. Thank you.